Hi guys, crazy times we're living in, right? If you're wondering how to help those that you're worried about that are in those high risk categories, those that are immunocompromised or over the age of 65, there are a couple ways that you can help them while still maintaining your distance and following the CDC guidelines of social distancing. My partner and I went to the grocery store, looked for some of the latest expiring foods, and we were able to stock up for those who cannot make it out to the store. So those who are immunocompromised and those who are in the high risk categories over the age of 65. Dropping off the groceries, however, was a little bit different. It kind of felt like an adult game of ding dong ditch, but with the good feeling of doing something outside of yourself. So if you know someone that you can help, or if you have any neighbors that you know can't get to the grocery store, if you live in an area that doesn't have those grocery stores that open an hour early for those, get out, do something to help them, but make sure you don't come in contact with them. Carry your hand sanitizer if you have any, and stay cool, calm, and collected. There's nothing that we can do except for be alone together. Yo, what are we doing? <laughs> we are driving down the hill in the snow to go deliver some food. Are you ready? Yeah. Awesome sandwiches. Go till June. April? Is that wine? Is that wine? Is that Verna? May. I'm losing control. <laughs> You would take split pea soup over chicken noodle soup? Totally. Yeah. We're done? I think we're done, bud. We got a lot of shit. You ready to go deliver it? Yes. Okay, okay. So we just got down the hill. Now the snow jacket seems ridiculous. Feels like I'm playing an adult version of Ding Dong Ditch. But only with a twist. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Disinfecting my hands before I bring in some groceries to someone else. What is rubbing what? alcohol? Ooh, ooh. Fanning it off? 